In this video, we would talk about TNF-alpha inhibitors and their clinical usage. So TNF-alpha inhibitors fall into two broad categories. One is basically monoclonal antibodies against the soluble TNF-alpha molecule. And there are also fusion proteins which act like decoys. So basically they have a combination of the TNF-alpha receptor and um, FC region of the monoclonal antibody. So these are recombinant proteins. So there are uh, five things that we would be talking about. First one is infliximab. Then there is adalimumab. Then there is sartolizumab and then golimumab. All these are monoclonal antibody. Anything that ends with that MAB represents monoclonal antibodies. And each of them has therapeutic potential. And they're all used for the treatment of basically rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, psoriasis, or ankylosing spondylitis. So all of these diseases has one thing in common. All of these disease is associated with inflammation. Now I have a different detailed video about chronic and acute inflammation. If you missed it, definitely watch it. It is available in I button. But anyway, inflammatory mediators make the disease pathology worst. And the hallmark inflammatory mediators involve IL-1, IL-6, TNF-alpha. That is why scientists want to block all these mediators and thereby achieve a treatment. Each of these has a inhibitors against them and that are used for treatment of many inflammatory disorders. So as you can understand, adalimumab or infliximab, all of these would basically bind to soluble TNF-alpha. So which cell types actually secrete TNF-alpha? Many immune cell types such as the macrophages, neutrophil, dendritic cells, all are secreting interleukin-1, interleukin-6, TNF-alpha. All of these are actually inflammatory mediators. That is why they could be used for diseases like inflammatory bowel disease or rheumatoid arthritis where the uh, inflammation is a big deal and it has to be controlled. Especially, let's take the example of rheumatoid arthritis. Not going to go into the details of rheumatoid arthritis. You can watch the video to know more. But in rheumatoid arthritis, there are autoimmune attack against the joints. And in this case also, the cells which attack, they sort of secrete interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, etc. That is why if you block TNF-alpha, the degree or the extent of attack towards the joint would be reduced. And that is how it could actually be a potential treatment. So I hope you understand how these uh, medications actually work. But there are many side effects because many of these TNF-alpha blockers predispose body towards infection. For, for example, if you have an underlying condition of latent TB, the TB might again uh, come back because TNF-alpha is important for granuloma formation. It can also lead to drug-induced lupus. So keeping all these factors in mind, there are certain uh, contradictions and precautions one has to take before prescribing these kind of medi medication. So if the patient is undergoing active in infection where the inflammatory response is kind of good, in that case, if you block inflammation, that's the wrong thing. So that is why TNF-alpha inhibitor should be used in patient, should not be used in patient which has active inflammation. Also latent TB is a problem which we discussed right now. Uh, so there could be other cautions like should be used uh, cautiously in patients which has severe heart failure. Um, any case of demyelinating disorders should avoid using this particular drug. And if the patient has a recent uh, sort of like a history of vaccines, then this particular medication should be avoided. So just a quick recap, we talked about several inhibitors of TNF-alpha. Many of them are monoclonal antibody. Many of them were actually, um, so one of them were actually the recombinant protein, which acts like a decoy. It's a soluble receptor, which clogs up and sponge up more of, more of these TNF alpha and prevent its own function. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.